three projects to be inaugurated by Union Home Minister Amit Shah next year, says Chief Minister N. Biren. One shot dead by police, enraged locals burned down old office of Palel police. Farmers' body urges government to work for welfare of farmers with sincerity. COVID-19 naging akto na ba? Miyam na sapo na toy na kudhambiu. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Max Nintina Nium Jumna Upiu. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Tamadi Mi Amaga Mi Amaga Gimarakta Fit Taduklap na Pambiu. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello and welcome to Ask of English News at four. Chief Minister N. Biren visited the construction of the office of INA headquarters, which will be inaugurated by Union Home Minister Amit Shah on 11th of January next year. He made the visit as part of the inspection of a renovation work for Sangai Ethnic Park, Moirang Kuno, which will be the venue of the G20 summit and final round of Femina Miss India. Minister of Education T. H. Basanta Kumar, Chairman of MSPDCL and MLA of Tanga Assembly Constituency T. Robindro, MLA of Moirang Assembly Constituency T. H. Shanti, Chairman of LDA M. Ashni Kumar, Chief Secretary, Top Civil and Police Officers, Officials of the Companies Concerned and Officials of Manipur Police Housing Corporation Limited took part in today's visit. The Chief Minister first inspected the site of Moirang Kuno Ethnic Park then later inspected the INA headquarter. Speaking to media persons, the Chief Minister highlighted the government's commitment against drugs and also stressed on the efforts of controlling poppy cultivation. Tentatively, uh, Honorable Union <coughs> Home Minister January Thamanung the Manipur the visit of Boya Abugi Kudong Sabalaiba. Adogi Mana Lakumatam the I find a request of Jabani. I am the history of Iba Ainegi, Sumaneta Jishwas in the Boski, Matamdugi Ainegi headquarter Wikiba, Mapam Shida Equina, Indian National Flag, 165 feet high. We must see the first of Winaba, Mount of the request of Moyang Kuno Ethnic Park, Madudana Koi, February 16, 17, 18. A Koi Baratam Gotoki, Ribamong, the G20 Gi, Samish Leda Koi Manipur, the Su, Sessanama, Young Nanabu Pirakana, Madrid Lokta, the Lakan, the Yanga, the Bayane, the Yanga, the Bade, the Yanga, the Bakuigi, Memory, a Kanudu, Ethnic Park to Roshan Nabugi, Yang Vasapani, Luina, Huziki. Ethnic part of the Yamamaru, Ibamasu, Kugi, Miss in that Pamina, and there's a quick another April Pasu get over the Aigi, Nushijerba, till now sing. Yara the Popi Tabase put that the Lepio, I call me Pami Puntominde, NDPS Eki Makada, Hari Bird, Drug Karbatova, Popi Tabakambus, a Magi Maran Matumbawa, Bom and a Matpia and the Yawi, Adubaki label the people Sangan Viganu, Hidena Yamukana, Manipurimiam, the April Topsi. A civilian was shot dead by police in an incident which took place at Palel. Angry residents torched the old office of Palel police station. The incident reportedly took place last night around 10 p.m. near Laikon, Palel. As per reliable source, the police personnel who fired the shot is currently attached to wireless of Palel police. The unfortunate incident reportedly took place when the police personnel was having a heated argument with a woman that he knew and when he fired his gun, it missed the woman but hit a nearby citizen. The Irish locals then stormed the old office of Palel police station and burnt down the office. Fire service arrived at the spot and managed to douse the fire. On the other hand, police used tear gas shells to disperse the angry crowd.
In the opening ceremony of 32 State Conference of Manipur Lomi Lub on Save Farmers, Save Agricultural Land for Sustainable Agriculture and Farmers Double Income, which was held at MDU Hall located at Yai School, President of Manipur Lomi Lub N. Singhajit stated that the Manipur government should execute works for the welfare of farmers with sincerity. General Secretary of All India Kisan Sabha, Atul Kumar Anjan, Joint Director of ICAR NEH Region Manipur, Dr. I. Meghachandra, President of Manipur Lomi Lub and Singhajit, along with ex Minister Dr. M. Nara, attended as Presidium members, among others. Speaking at the function, President of Manipur Lomi Lub and Singhajit highlighted the importance of the conference and the hurdles faced by the farmers when hit by natural calamities. ดาดาหลังบาดุกทับกตะดีวนทุกตะบาอะดุนาเอดเวอร์ไทส์ปับลิซิตี้กีโกเมนต์ไว้นะตัวบาอีเหล่าลูกชีพลูกตระอะดุ
Merry Christmas to all the people, especially the Christian community, and be blessed with peace and love to all human beings. India recorded 201 new cases of the novel coronavirus in the past 24 hours. According to the data shared by the Union Health Ministry today, December 24, the total recovery rate reached at around 98.80% and total recoveries data reached to 4 crore 41 lakh 42,791. The total active cases of COVID-19 in India have decreased to 3,397, Health Ministry data showed today. Yesterday, the registered active cases were around 3,380. An increase of total 17 cases has been recorded in the active COVID-19 caseload in a span of 24 hours. The active cases comprise 0.01% of the total infections, the ministry said. The daily positivity rate on December 24 was recorded 0.15% and the weekly positivity rate was 0.14 percent. The total death toll in the country is now at 530,691. According to the Health Ministry's website, 220.04 crore doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been administered in India so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. Under the aegis of Department of Social Welfare, distribution program was held where 121 chicks, fish fingerlings, carpentry, tools, kid and sprayer were handed over to 121 beneficiaries of a Sekmai Assembly constituency. The program was held today at the residence of Minister of Social Welfare H. Dingle. Speaking at the program, Minister H. Dingle maintained that the distribution program was held with an aim to provide financial aid to the farmers under the Scheduled Cast Sub Plan 2019-20 and 2020-21. He further urged the people of the constituency to use the provided items which was received from the schemes properly. Maitai Furup Sanjam Chirang organized its annual Wakching Kumhoba at the sanctuary of Ibindho Kaunu Lairimbi at Sanjam Chirang. Social Welfare Minister H. Dingo, member of Mayang Langjing Zila Parishad Sahadeba and one of the Mitei religious leader Nongdalen Khomba graced the occasion as the main guests. Addressing the gathering, Minister H. Dingo wished for peace, prosperity and fortune to prevail in the state on the occasion of Wakchingi Kumho. Before it got merged with India, Manipur once stood as powerful land and it defeated many countries in war, said the minister, while highlighting the bravery of the ancestors who fought against the British. He also urged the people to emulate the united spirit displayed by forefathers. Nong Thombam Liklang Longba said the annual ritual of Wakching Kumhoba has been observed since time immemorial and was scripted in many Manipuri Puyas. As such, Meitei Furup Senjam Chirang took the initiative to follow the custom and organize the ritual. <laughs> Aduga Wakolon Tilen Hilen Chalai Amalon Pukok Puya and Amazule Adudazu Akwegi Mayek Sengna Kwegi Ingen uh Inga Kumtam Ingen Kunkai Chai Hoki Bagi Malaya Pampalsagi Matam Dan Ning Tau Kungum Ning Tau Gimasanupani Magi Matam Dagi Akwegi uh Kumhoi Hai Bachi Akwena Mayek Sengna uh Kang Adu Adugi the Makta Kwena Tunglam Chakki the Makta Kwena Liglam Mamma Seman Boyna Tauramasepang Tok Savani. 
A one-day research extension farmers interface meeting on a zero tillage cultivation of a rapeseed mustard in rice fallow of Manipur, organized by All India Coordinated Research Project on Rapeseed Mustard College of Agriculture, Irisimba CAU, Imphal, under the sponsorship of an EH component of AICRPRM scheme, ICAR Directorate of Rapeseed Mustard Research, Bharatpur, Rajasthan, was held today at the conference hall of CAU. Director of Extension Education, CAU, Professor P. H. Ranjit Sharma, in charge of AICRP and COA Roisemba, CAU Infal, Professor L. Nabachandra, along with Dean, Professor of College of Agriculture, Roisemba, CAU Infal, Indira Sarangtham, attended as presidium members. During the program, inputs were distributed to the farmers and interactions with farmers and experts was also held. Speaking on the sideline of the program, Professor B. H. Ranjit highlighted the procedure on how to plant rapeseed and evaluation of rapeseed varieties to boost its productivity. Poli Park Mba Chot Chot Lao Ba Khatang Inin Lai Ba Ma Pham Da Saru Se Sai Tho Ga Tha Ba Ma Tam Da Kari Su Kai Diya Ba Adu Nat Da Na Khoi Na Ikang Kang Ba Lao Pham Da Kasu Inin Su Lai Ta Ba Ma Pham Da 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 Khoi Na Mai Tha Do Utar Di Lai Paak Lai Hao Da Yau Di Ba Khoi Ki Micro Organism Ka Na Ba Ma Am Shin Da Loi Si Ta Ba Ne Ba General Secretary of Manipur Drivers Association Sanjay Khetrimayum has demanded Sapamcha Jadumani to provide clarification on his statement insulting the drivers which he had made during a program held in connection with the tragic road accident which took place on Kopun Road on December 21. The association warned that if he failed to provide clarification within five days, the association will file lawsuit against him. Sanjay Khetrimayu was speaking to media persons at the office of MDA located at Kwakaitil. He further said MDA expressed grief over the bus accident which claimed lives of many, including students and a teacher. He alleged that Sapamcha Jadumani is trying to create issue by mocking the lives of the drivers and he should be aware of the huge responsibility the drivers have been taking in the society. Accident dugi matang da khana nai na bada sapam sa zadumini hai na kowa ko yam bama na diver singji laila su khai ta ba mama mapa na na ko lakta ba hai ba wahi ishi ma hai bhi ba se masi hai bhi gano sapam sa zadumini na nui manga ni ki mong da siyam tok pirakato ni ama sung isha isha na Tauri bah garis ini, isa isa jadi daya nak pindah bah. Mereka begini pasi dia ing benda sang daya daya bah. Pasak kaya ama Manipur ki pasak itu mak tapu selagat sang ibu daya nak pindah. Thammi bah madu ki wahai jing do, hada bah mieng do, yang begini nu, lambi dah sapa ji beti lah ada na. Akang malay apa wakda thay dah sapa daya nak tani. Ada daya nak mafam dah main na. Amu kanjana kan aku mantel mana topi yuk tak ada. Aku ini madu amata lihat na thamoi lihat na tharoi. Amu sung ni mangar ni mangda hari bah misak. Demi tu dengan angin, demi syaktu nak ikut siang tu waktu betarga di mahaki mata kita mana buat jahpe ya soalnya na legal suit topai atau pasu yai, apa sih mah ini thamzah. One day financial literacy awareness camp camp program was organized by the Rural Bank Kumbi branch at Torbun Bangla community in Kumbi Assembly Constituency. Member of ICAR Society, New Delhi, K. H. Nabakumar, Manager of MRB Kumbi Branch, El Sashanka, Member of Torbun Gram Panchayat, Ward No. 6, Sarangtem Manglembi, and local elder named Ibungo Longchamkula, graced the program as the main guests. As part of the program, the attendees visited the agricultural fields at Torbun Bangla and interacted with the local farmers, learning about the challenges faced by the farmers and also discussed on measures to enhance economic status of the farmers. On the occasion, member of ICAR Society New Delhi, K. H. Nabakumar, was elated to see the hard work of the local farmers. Thank you. 
ayakoy isan na self reliant o iba lam da mamu o ina balang na pada ay ay gi jaga da ayakoy ravi crop na sing batong antong ang mayam mamat hara ka income generation to ba kita ngay pada bal lapo mayam duda being na kadi to ba yagi ay habit sa mga si mayam si tanay nera ka kasi siya masung tong antong ang basa sa kargo ng skim sing gigi mayam da kahangal la kanda long mi sing bu encourage to bilo na na ngasi si mag baro ke prime minister o ina basa rin sing ogi mapok na mid long mi kin mid ay na pangkapun na mid na manina ayakoy makata ba si long mi da Manager of Kumbi Branch, El Sashanka, said KCC is giving opportunity for the hard-working farmers to avail loan and the beneficiaries who are paying loan amount regularly will get further benefits. Ahead of the Christmas celebration, Amuko distributed essential items to the denizens of Kalalong Taninkul Bishnupur Ward No. 7, in which the 55 Merry Christmas program on the theme Christmas for All was organized. General Secretary of Amuko Dr. Narendra Thokchon, Publicity Secretary Lashram Krishna Chandra, Assistant Secretary N. Lokendro were present at the program, among others. As a part of Christmas celebration, Amuko further assured to join in extend help to the regions where Christmas is being celebrated. MLA of Kumbia Assembly Constituency as Prem Chandra distributed 960 chicks to 60 beneficiaries under Schedule Caste Sub Plan 2019-20 and 2020-21 under the Government of Manipur Directorate of Social Welfare of OBC and SC Scheme today at a poultry distribution program held at Wangu Ahalduk Mayai Leikai Community Hall of Kumbi Assembly Constituency. MLA of Kumbi as Prem Chandra, ex MLA as Bira, Pradhan of Wangu Terakong Gram Panchayat, B. Baleshwar, nominee Pradhan of Wangu Gram Panchayat, Amom Kisorjit, were attended as main guests, among others. Speaking on the occasion, MLA as Prem Chandra assured to provide houses to the underprivileged citizens of the constituency and urged people's support in making a developed constituency. As part of the annual general conference organized by Manipuri Short Story Society India, which has been held at different parts of the Northeast, a seven-member team led by General Secretary of Manipuri Short Story Society India, Sarat Thokchom, left Cherry Bomb today to attend Manipuri Short Story Festival and 29th General Conference, which will be held from 25th to 27th of this month at Silad and Bhanugasta of Bangladesh. General Secretary Sarat Thokchom said distribution of Sinan Tonubabu International Award, short story reading and discussion will be held as part of the festival. In the national and international news, a center extends free food grains under National Food Security Act, approves revision of one rank one pension scheme union cabinet, has approved providing free food grains under the National Food Security Act till December 2023. Addressing the media, Union Minister for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Piyush Goyal, said that around 81.35 crore beneficiaries who earlier used to procure food grains at subsidized rates will now get the food grains free of cost. He said the center will bear the entire cost amounting to around 2 lakh crore rupees per year. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, CCEA, approved minimum support prices for COPRA for the 2023 season. Addressing media after the Cabinet meeting, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur said the MSP for fair average quality of milling COPRA has been fixed at 10,860 rupees per quintal. He said MSP for bull COPRA has been fixed at 11,750. 50 rupees per quintal. He said this is an increase of 270 rupees per quintal for milling copra and 750 rupees per quintal for bull copra over the previous season. Cabinet also approved the revision of the pension of Defense Forces personnel and family pensioners under one rank, one pension. 
In Afghanistan, women university students across the country are in disbelief, barred by the Taliban from studying and condemned to a life of feeling like caged birds. In Kabul, home to the country's largest universities, students gathered outside campuses dressed in the black cloaks and tight headscarves imposed by the Taliban since they took control last year. In Kandahar, the cradle and spiritual heart of the Taliban movement, Male students were able to sit exams in classrooms still segregated with screens, which until the day before made it possible for women to study. Now the university gates shut them out. In the eastern city of Jalalabad, some male students walked out of their exams in protest against the decision. Upon their return to power, the Taliban had promised to be more flexible, but they quickly reinforced a harsh interpretation of Islam that had marked their first stint in power between 1996 and 2001. The restrictions on women have multiplied in recent months. They are banned from most government jobs or paid a pittance to stay at home, not authorized to travel alone outside their city, and are excluded from parks and gardens. Before we close the headlines once again. Three projects to be inaugurated by Union Home Minister Amit Shah next year, says Chief Minister N. Viren. One shot dead by police and raged locals burned down old office of Palel Police. Farmers' body urges government to work for welfare of farmers with sincerity. That's all we have in the news at 4. See you again with more news at 8 tonight.